Hey guys, IX1 and IX here with an update or a V2 of my Jet Optimus, or as it's officially called now, Power Up Optimus Prime. know how the routine goes. They start in their robot modes and combine. Well, in the movie, if you've been living under a rock and haven't seen it, spoiler alert, um, Jetfire is about to die. He rips out his spark and gives it to Optimus Prime um, to give him more power, and then Jolt magnetically rips Jetfire apart and uses his scrap metal as armor on Optimus Prime. It's kind of how this works. Um, Jetfire splits into pieces and goes on Optimus Prime. Sort of an R.I.D. Uh, Op Optimus Prime Ultra Magnus thing. Um, <clears throat> sort of like that. Now, really the only differences between these guys are his cane uh, here. It does not fold in half anymore, and one of the wheels is missing. And that's all the differences. What's funny about this combination is that it puts to use all, mostly all of the unused pegs on this, like these pegs here, these pegs here, and the peg at the back of his head. It puts those unused pegs to use. And it's kind of funny, because they weren't designed to combine this way. They were designed to combine uh, by uh, just him going on the back of him. It was just a last-minute thing. Well, that has changed. Uh, to start this combination, first, you rip his arms off, then take off his cane, rip off each leg, and take off these panels. Once you have all these pieces separated, you're ready for the combination. First what you're going to do is start with the legs. Take Optimus Prime's legs, bring them forward, and bend them at the knee. Take Jetfire's leg, and uh, peg the back of his foot to Optimus Prime's legs. Make sure the landing gear is on the inside. Grab firmly right here and snap that in. Do this on both sides. Next, snap these in as far as possible. Repeat on the other side. You'll notice he doesn't stand very well. That's where these come in. Unfold these pieces here and sort of bring them at an angle. Peg the corner of this onto the corner peg there, diagonal from the wheel. Put on the other side. Now Optimus should be able to stand with his new legs. Next, these pieces come into play. Make sure they're in this position. This folded in, and uh, this folded in. Peg it into place. Back here. Repeat on the other side. Optimus has a new pair of wings. Finally, the main body and head comes into place. Bring this up pretty much as far as possible. Now what you want to do is fold up the wings pretty much as far as possible. Like that. Peg Jetfire's chin into the back of Optimus Prime's head like so. Now all that's left to do is take Jetfire's cane, fold the landing gear down, 
and peg it in this little cavity on Optimus Prime's arm. There is Power Up Prime. Unfortunately, this uh, mode depletes all head articulation because of how the backpack attaches. Speaking of which, the backpack is there, uh, but it doesn't actually look too bad. It, it's actually fairly accurate to the CGI model. The legs do a wonderful job of standing him up, even with all this top-heavy and back weight. His articulation is slightly less than Optimus Prime's, but that's expected. He has knees, positionable feet, and the arms go forward and back and slightly in and out. Not a whole lot of articulation. A huge improvement in accuracy has taken place. This accuracy also applies in size. As you can see, here he is with Megatron in the Fallen, and he's much more in scale. You can see he's at the head just like a millimeter taller than Megatron, and of course with the wings much taller. And at the head he's much shorter than the Fallen, but with his wings he's almost the same size, which, going from the video game size comparison, that's pretty accurate. Either way, this version of my Power Up Optimus Prime is really, really cool looking. I really like how he turned out, and I hope you do too. This video um, is dedicated to 132 Awesomeness, who requested this video. So, uh, here is the glory that is Power Up Optimus Prime V2. This is Axel at IX, signing off.